the definition of information technology is a very broad definition and ranges all the way from the use of computers to solve environmental problems and industry problems all the way to thinking about uh, robotics and computers to clean your house and um, computers even that, that we use in space travel or other places. So it's all about the use of computing and information technology to solve problems in the world and to really help people. Technology is a very pervasive aspect of every career that you could enter. There isn't one that doesn't make use of technology. If you want to be a doctor or a nurse or a teacher or a lawyer or a journalist or a filmmaker or an entertainer, they all make use of technology. And so having that fundamental knowledge of technology is especially important. And not just from a literacy perspective, it's one thing to know how to use the technology, but it's another thing to know what's behind it. That's what we would call fluency, and that's increasingly important in any discipline that you would choose. We have plenty of IT jobs in this country, and in fact, it's predicted that our universities will graduate only half of the students that we need to fill the jobs that are predicted here in the U.S. between 2004 and 2014. Many corporations have unfilled job positions at this point in computing and IT. Since I entered the information technology industry, I think it's only gotten more creative and more fun. It's accelerated. Technology is becoming more pervasive in our lives. Everybody uses it. When I first started my job, it, what are you in again? <laughs> What's a computer? And now, as everybody knows what computing can do for them. Everybody depends on it. Everybody is looking to it for future problem solving and efficiency in their business or entertainment or something else. So I think it's only gotten better. People who work in information technology and computing have to be quite good at all kinds of problem solving. They have to understand the world around them. They have to be very creative and they have to work well with other people. Otherwise, they can't really understand the problems that they're trying to solve. So rather than perhaps a common notion that they're apart from people, you know, working in isolation, they in fact really need to be engaged in society and engaged with people or they can't create the technology that solves their problems.